Today we're going to go through some must-have pieces for your fall and winter wardrobe. I've picked out some items that are trendy yet timeless in design, which is perfect for creating a versatile and stylish collection that won't feel out of date in just a few months. Now we'll have all the links to the items in this video in the description below, so make sure you check them out. So let's jump right in, starting with a fall staple that you don't want to miss out on, which are knitwears. Knitwears are making a major comeback this year. A lot of companies are offering a lot of knitwears in their collection, and also just offering a different take on how knitwear should look and feel. It's the best season for warm and cozy layer, from a classic knit design to something more modern like what I'm wearing now, a knitted polo. The rug jumper can effortlessly elevate your style and just keep you warm for the season in general. So this year, I'm especially drawn to knitwear that's a little bit thicker and also got a loose fit to them. Now, I did see this Lacoste knit polo on Instagram that I absolutely love. And I've been obsessed with tracking it down, but unfortunately, I've not had any luck finding this exact piece. I've got some alternative pieces that I think would look really good instead. First one is actually this piece that I'm wearing right now. It's a Zara knit polo, and it's very affordable at £35. It's got a fantastic fit. And it's also got a few different colors for you to choose from as well. Now, Zara they do have a few different designs for knit polo this year and they're not really categorized together. So it might be worth going through Zara's website and just looking up knitted polo and seeing which one of those you prefer. But this one's actually got a quite fitted design and I've actually gone for a size up. So this is an extra large. And personally, I just really like the fact that they don't have a shoulder seam, which just makes the design really slick. The texture is really fantastic. I did find this one from Represent, which is the textured knit polo. Then the design is quite similar to the Zara one, but it's got a bit more of an oversized fit to it. In terms of material, it's 100% cotton, and I just really like the minimalistic look on this one. Obviously, it's got a little bit of Represent branding as well, give you a bit of a street cred. And overall, I think this is a great option for anyone who just want to spend a little bit more. And of course, if we're talking about knitwear, you can't go without talking about Uniqlo. So this year, I feel like they've dropped a lot of knitwear in their special collections. So as I mentioned in some of my previous videos, the lamb's wool jumper, I think that was a fantastic option. For something that is 100% wool, I don't think you can go wrong with picking that one up, especially at that price as well. And also they've got a knitted jacket design that's identical in color, but it's just got an outerwear design look and feel to it. And alternatively, Uniqlo also offer a super yarn jumper as well. These are a little bit controversial because, you know, a lot of people are debating whether or not it's worth picking up something with such a low wall percentage, but they are significantly thicker than the lamb's wool jumper. And if you're lucky enough to find the JW Anderson collaboration, then I think that's a no brainer to pick up also. Now, if you're not into knitwear, Let's talk about fleece. Fleece is a fantastic alternative to knitwear. It adds a bit of thickness to your layer. It also gives you a really unique texture that nothing else can offer. And in general, it gives a little bit more of a relaxed vibe than traditional jumpers. Now, if you're looking for a really good option, I do think Columbia are killing it at the moment with their quarter snap fleece. So they've got buttons rather than a zip. Sometimes with a zip, I do find that it gets a little bit uncomfortable if it catches your skin or a bit of your facial hair. But obviously with buttons, you're avoiding that completely. And I think a lot of brands offer zips, so it gives a little bit more of a unique look. So snap fleas are really casual and versatile, and I've been living with this green one for well over a year now, and it served me very, very well, and it's still in really good condition. Now, if you want to go for something that's a bit more high-end, then Patagonia also offer these quarter snap fleas as well. They're very similar in design, and if you're after something that's got a little bit more of a minimalistic look, then Arkit has you covered. The fleece has no visible branding, it has a really minimalistic design, and it comes in some rich, deep colors, like the dark blue and green. Okay, next up, let's talk about heavyweight t-shirts. They're perfect for layering in the winter, offering extra warmth whilst keeping things laid back and effortless. Plus, the thicker fabric helps keep its shape and adds a bit of structure to your look. Now, a lot of people are raving the ANF heavyweight t-shirts, but personally, I'm not a massive fan of those. I think there are better options out there than the ones from Abercrombie & Fitch. So the fabric that they've used are very loosely woven together, which means that once you've washed them, the t-shirt is going to shrink massively. And if you're looking for some alternatives that are at the same price range, then both Arkit and Weekday, they have some really fantastic choice for you to choose from. The heavyweight t-shirts are much denser, and also comes in a wide range of colors as well. Now, if you're looking for something premium, then obviously you've got to go for something from Studio Nickerson. I think the module t-shirt is unmatched with anything else that I've ever tried on. The fabric is really densely packed together and it feels amazing when you're wearing it. And I've got two of these t-shirts myself, one in the grape color 
and the other one in pink. It just makes you feel incredible when you're wearing them. The quality is second to none and I just can't recommend them enough. And lastly, with Uniqlo, they've got the Uniqlo U crew neck. They're not technically listed as heavyweight t-shirts, but I do think it's a great alternative option because it is a lot thicker than most t-shirts that you get from other brands. And it's also a really good option for those cooler weather. Next are rugby shirts. Now, unlike knits, which are always kind of in the background of most people's wardrobe, rugby shirts are really making a comeback this year, bringing some retro fits to your wardrobe. Now, obviously I'm not talking about the modern rugby shirts that those big rugby fellas are wearing nowadays, but more the old school ones, which adds a bit of a vintage flair to your look. I think Ralph Lauren is really leading the way with this style at the moment. They've got a lot of rugby shirts in their collection and they come in a wide variety of colors and designs. Those rugby shirts are quite expensive. Now, if you're looking for something that's a bit more budget friendly, there is a brand called Crew, not to be confused with J Crew. Crew specialize a lot in classic British style, so Rugby shirts are things that they've been making for a long time. And again, they've got a lot of different variety and designs, which I think are also a great option. Lastly, I have to give props to Marks & Spencer. I think Marks & Spencer, they do some really, really good rugby shirts at the moment. So this one I'm showing here, it's got a really unique design. I haven't really seen that pattern before in any rugby shirts. A lot of the times just kind of two-tone stripes, but this one's got a lot of different variety. And it's also got a really interesting texture as well. Now, as I mentioned before, you can find the link to the item below. I'm not sure if it's available outside of the UK, but I think if you're in the UK, Marks & Spencer are definitely a really good option to consider. Especially now when a lot of the high-end brands are increasing their prices quite significantly. I think M&S are just very, very good. Wi-Fi trousers are everywhere right now, and I'm all for it. They're not only on trend, but also a lot more comfortable to wear. I much prefer the Wi-Fi trend that's happening right now than the tight and skinny trousers that was happening from a few years back. A good pair of Wi-Fi trousers gives you a relaxed silhouette, yet you can dress up or down with it. Just make sure you're not getting them so wide that they can be used as parachutes. Now for a polished look, you can go for the ever so popular Uniqlo U wide trousers. They were released a few years ago, but have since become a staple in Uniqlo U's collection. The fit on them are really fantastic and is 100% cotton as well. At this price point, it's literally impossible to go wrong with them. And alternatively, Uniqlo did recently release Uniqlo C wide joggers. Now these joggers have gone absolutely viral and it's for a good reason as well. The composition of these trousers makes it so that they're very low maintenance, so you don't need to iron them very often. These trousers, ever since release, have been constantly sold out, but right now they do have stock on the website. Make sure you're grabbing a pair when they're still available. And if you want to go with something that's a little bit more premium, the brand that I'm looking into right now is A Kind of Guys. I think they offer a stunning pair of white pleated trousers, and it comes in a very versatile beige color as well. Now, last but not least, Denim. A quality pair of jeans is absolutely essential for the fall season, offering the versatility to transition from a relaxed, we can fit vibe to a polished night out look. Now, chances are you've already got a few pairs of these in your wardrobe. But if you're looking to update your collection, then the Levi's 568 are a really standout choice. They do have a trendy wide silhouette, but it's not too exaggerated where they are completely unwearable in a few months. The silhouette is timeless, yet it fits perfectly with the current trend without them being too wide, looking like clown trousers. And ultimately, when it comes to denim, the key is to have a range of different shades that can be mixed and matched effortlessly with everything in your wardrobe. So those are some of the essential four pieces that I've picked out for the season, which I hope is giving you some inspiration for when you're refreshing your wardrobe. Do let me know in the comments below which of these pieces you'll be picking up for your collection, or if there's anything else that you're looking to pick up. Now, if you wanna learn a few more style tips then you can check out my video here where i talk about 15 style tips that i wish i learned sooner and as always thanks for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time